Okay, today on the Embroidery Do channel, I'm going to embroider some driver head covers, and they're called Woolies. New standard in tournament head covers. Okay, last time we did the plush head covers, now we're going to do the Woolies head covers, and these are the most economical, and then they have a higher end that we're going to look at later. But right now, I want to finish up with doing these, and these are called Woolies. They're made out of pretty much blanket style wool blend. And uh, showing you a picture of the one we're going to be doing, it's right here. Now the logo is a little low and I'll show you why. I don't like, I wouldn't want to put it in that position. Uh, they could have embroidered that before um, the inside of this um, was was made, I'm not sure. But I, I wouldn't put my logo in that area and I'll show you why right now. So after inspecting it, when I have received it from Creative Covers for Golf, I've taken a look at the inside, and let's take a look at that right now. So these woolies are just like that, and they have elastic to hold the golf head on right in this area. This elastic stretches. Well, if you were to embroider on that, of course it wouldn't stretch. Wouldn't stretch in that area. And, the principle is it's made to stretch so it holds the golf head from slipping for the actual cover from slipping off a golf head. So I don't want to embroider on that. I'm a golfer myself. So I want to make the logo higher. So I'm going to take it to the top area where I have a three inch area that I can embroider on. So I don't want to embroider right through the elastic area, elasticity here, and I want to embroider it higher. And that's how we're going to do it and I've just showed you why. So that when you go ahead and do these, I think the best way would be at the top. So we'll do it and we'll see how we like it, but I don't really want to do it on this area here. So let's take a look at that and let's embroider one. So I'm gonna take it over, we'll hoop it next. Coming up next on the Embroidery To You channel. Just a quick look here, because I showed you this on my last video. So go back to the plush head covers and look at that video I show you both ways of using the 7-in-1 system or using um, the 12 centimeter hoop and this time we're using the 12 centimeter hoop to get this done and these are SWF machines that we have so the SWF 12 centimeter hoop so I've got my ironing board set up I got two magnets on there and I've taped up the magnets so I push them up against the stop and I just keep in production I just do one after another in this case this is a one piece item because the bottom line is it's it's a customized father's day gift okay so we've seen the artwork over there and let's take a look at it again so it's going to say number one for the number one driver dad i was going to go on your number one head driver and it's going to say dad on there so it's a special occasion father's day type of a gift or it could be even a christmas gift so it's a very cool item, totally personalized, or you could put his name through there. So it's all up to you on what you want to do. I just threw this together because it's Father's Day coming up, so you can watch this video. So that's coming up next. Let me hoop it up for you, show you what I got hooped. Like I told you, I'm going to hoop it up a little high because I don't want to go through that elastic. And then I'll show you that uh, when we take it over to the machine. That's coming up next. I'm going to use one piece of Weblon, and that's going to be my backing. So, of course, to cut away, and it's going to be the Weblon. So I'm going to take that, and I'm going to put it on there. I'm going to hoop it and bring it over to the machine. We'll see you on the machine next. Okay, I wanted to show you this a little bit more before I go to the machine. Because when I put it on, I found the trick to doing it really nice. So I want to show you that. It's important. Of course, have the topping on there. Do not do the wool without the topping. It's just like fleece. So, I've got my topping in there. I forgot to do it first. I said, oh, where's my topping? Oh, re-hoop it. Don't ever do it without the topping. Big difference. Okay, the elastic, which we talked about just previously. Very important. Stretch the elastic just a little bit because it starts to pull in, which it should do. And that's what you want it to do around your golf head. So you want to pull it out a little bit. That makes it really nice on the inside. 
well let's take a look at the way it looks like now that I stretched it sort of held it there then I press the hoop on so let's take a look at that I hope you can see this it's so nice and smooth here just one little wrinkle right here that's it looks beautiful but if I would have just done it regular there would have been wrinkles all in this area and that's where the logo is where I'm going to be embroidering see we are that's the elastic right down here we're all away from there enough where it's not going to bother the elastic so the logo's in the perfect position now what am I going to do next this is what I'm going to do I didn't hoop my web lawn I'm going to spray some spray adhesive on this piece of web lawn uh, you can use one or two pieces whatever you prefer I think one will be fine because this is going to be actually this is your backing too so one piece of the web lawn cut away will work great spray some adhesive on there I'm going to lay that on in there just like that I'm going to cut the rest away lay it in there and then I'm going to take it over to the machine and we're going to embroider it that's the way I do it so I hope I showed you a little bit more about doing this maybe you would have figured it out yourself but I'm just making it a little easier for you so let's go over to the machine let's get this done okay we're starting our personalized golf head cover this is called the woolly and of course we got we're doing three colors three colors of thread starting with this color right here which is the golden yellow and we're going to embroider that on there the number one and we're going to go ahead and do the outside color and then we're going to put that on there on the inside on top of everything so it should look really nice our speed is approximately 650 to 700 RPMs. We're doing this number in a satin stitch. So it will look real nice. And remember, always use the topping, like I said. You'll see the difference right away. And we move that logo up because of the elastic that's on the inside of this head cover for your driver and of course drivers used to always be number one you used to have your number one wood number three wood four wood and this one's for the number one wood and that's why it says number one and then it's going to be that on there so it's a cool little idea i came up with since i'm a golfer i'm hoping you're going to like this little design make you think about what you can do to be creative doing a special gift for somebody that's a golfer so these can be great bachelor gifts if you're going to have a wedding and you're all going to go out to golf all the bachelors having a great time having a bachelor party having a golf round great gift even the women women golfers they would love this too great gifts for of course Christmas and of course the reason I'm doing this Father's Day is just around the corner and it'll be a great gift for Father's Day so we'll continue going on here and um, I'll talk a little bit more coming up in just a little bit on the embroidery view channel okay we're doing our second color and that's our outline around the number and that's being done in the white thread. So we're running approximately, like I said, about 700 RPM. And we have about 6,000 stitches on this whole logo for design. And it's very personalized. So we're calling this a personalized golf head cover. Now you can personalize every single one. And instead of having to add, like I said, you can put the person's name on there. So it can be really personalized. You can come with this different designs. And I, in my last video of the plush head covers, you've seen that I did a tournament type of artwork for that. So you can see what that's like. And that's the ones where you're going to make more money. Of course, tournaments 
or where you're at when you want to really make some money off doing these and not so much the onesie twos and stuff and or a set which you could do a set of golf head covers and they could all be different designs and now we're going to do our last color which will say dad and then we're going to take it off and see how good i was and how it turned out and if i was right and i should be right on where the placement should be the size is approximately I think it's just a little bit less than three inches in height and width. I would not recommend going any bigger than that. They say three and a quarter, but I'd say three inches is a good, good place to be on height or width maximum. So if you want to stretch it to three and a quarter, you can, but be very careful. Remember to always do your tracing. You don't want to hit a hoop. That is a very costly mistake for you and you might have to have a tech come out and fix the problems from hitting that hoop. So you don't want to do that. Always do a trace. It's not going to take that long. Always do that trace. And this one we have to flip 180. Otherwise we'd be having them in the wrong direction. So I have to flip this 180 in my settings. Okay, it stopped for a second, so we'll come back and I'll show you the completed product. Okay, it's completed. Let's take a look at the inside. So those things are easy. You unzip it, you can flip it inside out, which I did. So you can see the elastic now really well. See the elastic and see I'm good distance away from the elastic. So I'm not importing through the elastic here. And there's my one piece of web lawn. And it looks flying with that. We'll flip it over, take a look at it, and zip it up, and show you what that looks like in a second. And uh, they come in all different colors. Remember, creative covers for golf.com. Um, appreciate them sending us over some cool samples that we can get over to you and show you guys good things that you can make for golf tournaments and for personal use. And this is personalizing, and that's what I did this time for our Father's Gig If and hope you enjoyed our video. Let's flip it over and take a look at it next. Okay, let's take a look at my Woolies head cover. Driver head cover. And that's what I'm using for it for. And there's my number one driver and I've got it on there. And I'll show you in a second. Looks real nice to me. So you can customize any of these as much as you want from a tournament to a personalized gift like this is and you can see the elastic works great let me show you that see it's picking up the golf club so yes the elastic works great so that's why the elastic's there and that's why I showed you this hope you enjoyed our video this was the Woolies head covers and we just embroidered one for you and gave you a bunch of tricks and the way to do it hope you enjoyed our video subscribe to our channel we really appreciate it and have a great day and remember have a great father's day for you fathers out there like myself we'll see you next time